everybody, Infinite Shinjo here, and welcome back to the next episode of Let's Talk Anime. And in today's episode, I am going to be discussing the spring anime that I am watching at the moment. I have my calendar in front of me, where I record what episodes that I watch, and yeah, without any further ado, I'm going to get right into it. So I guess the first one that I really should start off with is My Hero Academia Season 3. There's only been two episodes out at the time that this video is being recorded, but I'm really enjoying it. I know that a lot of people weren't a fan of the first episode being a filler recap sort of episode, but I like the, I like the show. I just like how even if it's been like maybe months since I've seen these characters, I can just come on back and remember all the great times, all these great characters, stuff like that. But I'm sure you guys know what My Hero Academia is all about. I'm not going to go into detail about what is going on with the show because you probably know about, about what it is. So the next spring anime that I'm going to be discussing is Comic Girls. And basically the plot of Comic Girls is the main character is shy but she writes manga she goes to this place where other people write manga and they attend school just like normal that's not really the best description of the show but I never said I was good at descriptions I just like comic girls just because it's just fun and bubbly and especially since it involves making manga personally I don't think that that's what I'm gonna be doing making manga or anything like that but I just like how they actually have a show that involves the process of manga, even if it is the generic school setting. The third anime that I'm watching from this season is Tada Never Falls in Love. And if I'm just being honest, out of all the anime that I've seen so far, I absolutely love this show. The opening song is just so catchy. Whenever the full version comes out, you better believe I am downloading that to listen to in my spare time. The show is just so hilarious. The main character, Teresa, is just a trip. She's a foreign exchange student, and I honestly don't remember why she came over to Tokyo, I think they're at? Wherever it's at. But I just love how she's just so kind of naive. It really reminds me of Nadeshko from Laidback Camp. And I can imagine that you've probably heard me talk about Laidback Camp many times, whether it's videos or live streams, because I just love that show. And Teresa from Tata Never Falls in Love really reminds me of that same sort of hilarious, fun, upbeat, happy-go-lucky character. And the fact that Tata is like the perfect foil for that because he's basically the straight man for all these crazy people and did I mention that I love the opening I absolutely love the opening now the final anime that I'm watching from this season is Wota Wotakoi? Wotakoi Wotakoi? it's also called love is hard for otaku I'm probably wrong and I fully accept that if I am wrong but the premise of love is hard for otaku is this girl basically moves, I think it's like halfway across the world. It's probably not that drastic, but it's basically something like that. Because somebody found out that she's an otaku and she wants to keep that secret. She gets to this new job, and when she's at this new job, on the very first day, she meets up with her childhood friend, and he knows about her otaku lifestyle. But she doesn't want anybody else to know. Although from what I'm seeing with the show so far in the one episode, I'm thinking that they're going to go the route of finding out, oh, everybody is an otaku. Because they're already kind of foreshadowing it with the main girl and her supervisor that she's with on the first episode. But the thing that I like, and I can't help draw in a comparison to this and Servant X Service, because it's still kind of the same sort of job setting and there's kind of a romance subplot in a way but what I love about Love is Hard for Otaku is they don't sugarcoat it 
at the end of the first episode, she's talking about, oh, no one's interested in me because as soon as they find out I'm otaku, then they're going to drop me like a lead balloon. And in one of my most favorite, that's not English, in one of my favorite dialogue scenes that I've seen so far, they get done at the bar or whatever in the first episode, and the guy's just like, hey, why don't we get together? That way, if you need help with getting items and games or whatever, I'm here. And I just love that, that he's just so direct with it, and they present it in a way that's kind of relatable to me because I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. But, of course, I've only seen the first episode. Anything can change with the show, but if it does, I'll be ready for it. But that's going to do it for this video. It is a bit of a shorter video, but I wanted to get a video out on my thoughts on the spring anime, and more importantly, see what you guys are watching for this season. If there's anything that you guys are watching that you seem really invested in, then I might check it out in my spare time and see how I like it. So, in a sense, it's a win-win. Let me know if you watched any of the shows that I discussed in this video, and if you did, how do you like them? And that is going to do it for this video. Make sure to mock punch that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And leave any suggestions for Let's Talk Anime Discussions down in the comment section. And I will see you later. Have an awesome day, everybody. Bye -bye,